Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the last show before the pay-per-view. We got some good things waiting for you. Some great things waiting for you. We're here live from New York. I'm not telling you exactly where, but we're live. to a hot start already i like the momentum now here is what's coming up next we have machinato versus stella luna i hope you guys can keep up with me because we're gonna keep it moving the bets will be on right now follow the directions in the chat following right about now follow those directions in chat to vote for who you think will win this match coming up right now Option one, bet one is Machinita, and bet two is the former champion, Stella. Like I said, I hope you can keep up because we're moving to a fast start because that match is right now. You guys have four minutes and 35 seconds to make that bet now. She is Machinita with a nice new style. Heading to the ring. 
getting ready for some action. We open up the show. But Jinnita is one of our original superstars here at World Championship Alliance. And I almost forgot where we were. So excited! This is a hot start because this is no easy ta task. She's going against former champion Stella Luna, who has a different perspective on how to get to the number one spot once again. Both women are in the ring, starting off hot, like I said, oh, wait a minute. Showing some mutual respect for each other, does this have to do with the recent change in attitude with Stella? You know what they say, keep your friends close, keep your enemies closer. This could be some mind games with Machinida. He's never had a problem with her, although Machinida is good friends with Stella's rival. Maybe she could be turning her against her. I don't know what's going on. We'll find out more after the match, but right now Machinda is giving it to the former champion. Oh! Made her face eat the mat, and here we go. Machinda with a, oh, missed hurricane kick. Now Stella with the advantage, knee right to the face. For a trip. Long way down. Stella in control of the match again. Oh! And throwing her by her hair. Hits the back of the head. That's gotta hurt. Oh my god. That's not good on the neck. And here we go. Oh, going for a neck breaker was really targeting that neck and head area. And now a suplex from Machinida. Great form. And now a handstand elbow drop. Look at that. Showing off a little. Kick right to the face. Showing some disrespect. And now a drop kick to the face. Just to add that much more pain to it. Oh, looks like she was going for an RKO. Misses. Now Stella... Bringing her up for a nice stalling suplex. No, Machinida spins. Lands on her feet. Oh, my God. And down goes the former champion. Don't know where the champ is. She's currently not in chat right now watching her own match. That's not my problem. Oh, Lion Soul. It didn't really connect. Her feet did make contact, though. One. Oh, kick out at one. Oh, elbow right to the face. Great reversal. Was going for a Huracarana, but eats a powerbomb. Caught her in midair. Wow. Fireman's carry Stella back in control. Now a snap suplex from the former champ. Doing some damage to Machinida here. Oh, my God. Leg drop, right to the throat. Oh, 
really targeting that face. Oh, she sees an open, opening and she's looking to fly high. Phoenix Splash. In this case, Dark Phoenix Splash. One, two. Oh my God, that's all it took. That is all it took. Stella wins. Just like that, that was only a couple minutes. The champion. And the chant moves on. And if you bet for Stella, you are absolutely correct in doing so. You can get your points back. No one else has bet. You, you did a great job. Proud of you. Now we move on to our next match. Which is a... Well, all right. Um, that is the game glitching, thinking uh, I have this song set as the uh, loading screen. But uh, that is that is not true, in fact. I, I don't know why it thinks that. Anyway, it's all for you guys. Don't worry, you can't hear it, but I can. It's kind of hurting my ears. Anyway, uh, a Fatal 4-Way elimination match to see who's going to be pretty much next in line for the title. I know we do this every other time. But this is so we can place people in the right spots to go one-on-one -on -one to then contend for the title. Uh, and given that our pay-per-view is hopefully tomorrow, uh, that means we have some contenders to make. And then the pay-per-view, you know, those, so the, the previous contenders are going to make or break. So, it, you know, anything can happen. Anything can happen. But it is a fatal four-way elimination match, and we have some familiar faces here. Some you've only seen once, some you've seen before. I'm going to give you a sneak peek of what is to come right now. We've got Sassy Britches, we got Brandon Davis, we got Butcher, and we got Kaiva Sokolov. Excuse me, I had to check my notes there. But give me a minute to set up the bets. We will see who wins. All right, there we go. Directions are in chat. You have four options. Option one is Sassy Britches. Option two is Brandon Davis. I spelled his name wrong. I spelled his name wrong, guys. Don't worry. It's Brandon Davis. Option three is Butcher. I spelled his name right. And option four is Kaiva Sokolov. You guys have four minutes and 36 seconds to bet. And while you do so, I'll update the match card and then start the match.
Thank you for the bit, Sky Frost. Sorry, I went out there. I had to uh, enter a message. Brandon Davis makes his way into the ring in a suit once again. Last time we saw him, he actually beat Kaiva Sokolov in a one-on-one -on -one match and then shoved a dollar in his mouth. So, showing off his money here. Is money going to win this match? I don't know. Now, the monster of the WCA, Butcher. Looks to chop his way to victory. So is it, so is it. That man is on a vengeance ever since he was eliminated in the tournament. Has been on a roll so far. Looks angry. Look at him rushing to the ring. Not want to be standing in front of him. Near him. I'm actually just worried about standing right here. And now here he is, the high flying. Breathtaking, heartbreaking, Dassey Bridges. Kaiva Sokolov makes his way to the ring. With one eye, I hope he doesn't trip on the way to the ring. Now, for those of you in chat, please remember to use the boom emote if you have better CTV or just type in exclamation point boom or just boom. Oh, the crowd speaks. The crowd speaks. There we go. Uh, be sure to use the boom commands to activate the live replay we have. Alright, here we go. All men find their opponents. Sassy Bridges and Brandon Davis going, oh my god, right after each other. And Sassy Bridges with a huge backdrop added some spin to it. Now an inverted suplex. 
Things are getting hot. Sokolov is being eaten alive. And right in front of us, right in front of the whole arena. By Butcher. Oh my god. It looks like we have a boom replay already. What's that for? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh my god. What you're literally eating. Yeah. Sounds about right. That sounds just about right. Thank you for the replay. Now Brandon with the upper hand. Still after Sassy Bridges. Ooh, backbreaker. Look at the slowdown. Oh my god, what is this? This Russian guy picking up Butcher. How the hell? You know, Russians are a little, a little angry, but was that vodka spike? Was it tested? Was it tested? I don't know. I don't know. Remember, this is a fatal four-way elimination match. This is not over the top rope. You must be eliminated via pinfall or submission, I believe. Stun gun from Sassy looking to pin Brandon. Oh, we have a double pin here. And both men kicked out at the exact same time. Wow. That was almost poetry. And look at the strength from Butcher slamming Kaiva right back down. And look at this. He saves Brandon Davis and going after Sassy. Sassy fighting back though. What is this? Does Brandon Davis have a. Uh... Did he pay off Butcher? Are they in cahoots? Huh? What is this? Why the hell? One. Oh, kick out at one. Brandon Davis is still in the fight. Now Sassy looking to DDT. Looking to eliminate Butcher right now. Here we go. Elbow. Oh, misses the elbow drop. Try to fly high, but how quick is Butcher? Look at how fast he was able to move out the way. Uh-oh. Speaking of quickness. Oh! Sassy Bridges. He reverses the choke slam. That was beautiful. And now Sassy is setting up for the super kicks of all super kicks. Here we go. Can he nail it? Boom! And now going after Brandon. Everyone is down. Sassy is the only man standing. Is he going to pin someone, anyone? We have a replay here live. Misses. An elbow drop. The speed of Butcher was amazing. And during the choke slam, he was able to barely escape with the toss using the, the weight and momentum of Butcher against him and then sets up for the super kick of all super kicks connects with such precision. I'm so proud. We got a pinfall here. Oh, never mind. Kick out at two. Kaiva still in this butcher. Still trying to have sassy for dinner. Still trying to wine and dine him. Well, I wouldn't say wine and dine. I wine and force or wine and drug. Anyway, one, two, Sassy still in this. Brandon throwing Kaiva to the corner. Oh my god, it gives him a big halluva kick. And Kaiva is down. Brandon going for the pinfall. Ref counts one, two, three. That's it. Kaiva has been eliminated. Huh. And we are now in a triple threat elimination match. Brandon on the corner looking to stay oh never mind he included himself into the fight they are teaming up on sassy bridges i'm pretty sure they're in cahoots sassy bridges big forearm to butcher and brandon coming in for the save oh and a hurricanrana how can you do that in suit pants i don't know i don't even want to imagine
Tell you what, money didn't buy him everything because he can get down in the ring. Shoulder bump. Going for the pin. Butcher letting him one, two. Kick out at two. They're just ganging up on Sassy right now. Now Butcher goes for the pin. One. Two, Sassy still kicking out. They can't put this man down. But Sassy still fights back. Oh no, it's a DDT. Oh my god, the tag teamwork from these two. That was amazing, but oh my god, Sassy's in trouble. Butcher kicked the hell out of Sassy Bridges, which puts him in a in a position where Brandon gave him a big swanton dive. That, that was crazy. And now a sunset. Oh my god. Sassy's in trouble. We got a replay here. Let's recap what happened. You suck. You suck. You suck. The crowd is speaking. They're not happy with this double team. Butcher goes for the pin. One, two. Oh, kick out at two. Here is where Butcher kicked the hell out of Sassy Britches and then Brandon with a Swanton Bomb for added measure. That teamwork was incredible, but this is not a tag team match. It is a free-for-all elimination match. You gotta wonder, even if they double-team Sassy Britches, they still have each other to do. Oh, and he turns on Butcher. Big drop kick. I'm not gonna say big lie, I promise, but that, seriously, that, that was out of nowhere. And now looking to submit Butcher. He's showing no fear at all after betraying him. After working together. Can he make him tap? No. He does not. And now the tides have turned. Now the double team on Brandon. Sassy going to let it happen. Just let it happen. Just, just, just let it happen. Brandon is fighting back now. He realizes he, he probably have done it too soon. Oh, no. He's still going for it, though. Trying to submit Butcher. And Butcher taps. Brandon's done it. And now it is a one-on-one -on -one situation. Brandon and Sassy Britches in the ring. One-on-one. -on -one. Mano e mano. Un. Duh. Check out that too. Sassy's still in this. The crowd is right. Holy shit. Which is pissed off. He's rolling out the ring. Actually, he's walking away pretty calmly here. The hell is this? And a suplex from Brandon. Sassy. Getting worked on that bag. I don't know how much it can hold up. Oh, oh, he moves. Misses the elbow drop just barely. Oh, Sassy tried to get some offense in, but no, he's gonna eat another suplex. Oh my god, I'm like a brain buster. And an elbow drop right to the chest. Sassy's in trouble. Can he fight back? Does he have the energy? Oh no, Explorer suplex to the corner. Is that it? Going for the pin. One, two. Oh, kick out at two. Sassy is still in it. Eating elbow shots right to the head. And the crowd wants him to fight forever. I don't think they want to see anyone win. Oh, Haluva kick. I think it just busted open Sassy. He's feeling his face right now. I think he's seeing red and it isn't his hair. Rolling him over. One, two, three. Brandon Davis wins. He is next to challenge for the number one contender spot. Wow. That was a crazy elimination. Brandon in cahoots with, with Butcher.
they see the Wow. They see it, they see it. He is now next in line of challenge for the number one contender spot, which means him and Gregory, who originally won the first time to challenge for the number one contender spot, now these two will face off. Oh no. He's got the dollar again. He's got the dollar again. Is he going to do it? Oh no. The disrespect. And he's bleeding too. Somebody get a medic out here. Come on. Wow. So like I was saying, Brandon now has to face off against Gregory, but I don't think that's going to I don't think that's going to happen the way he wanted to happen after uh double teaming Sassy Bridges. Sassy Bridges will not go down quietly. This is going to get crazy. It's not going to get any better for these two at all. And I mean that in a good way, meaning there's going to be more entertainment to show because this is going to be a big rivalry here. I can't believe Butcher tapped out, but look how calmly he, he walked away. I think, I think maybe there was a bribery going on around here. Brandon Davis and Butcher, the way they work together, they, they, there seemed to be something there, uh, non-sexual. Uh, and there's just... It feels wrong. I don't know what's going on. Who knows if there was any bribery going on. I don't know. We'll find out more as soon as we can. But for now, all I can say is just something just doesn't feel right. And, and, and no one will go down quietly after this. Why would Butcher sacrifice his momentum? Just, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just... I'm just as confused as you are, but I can't deny how entertaining that was. I can't deny the teamwork that they did. I can't deny the fact that Brandon, even though he has, he seems to have money. I don't know. He only pulls out dollar bills, but you know, then again, to disrespect somebody, I I probably would too if I had money. But anyway, uh, you know, shades of Ted DiBiase all over again, and it's just, what next? All right. But we gotta move on. Uh, Butcher is not the winner. Brandon has won. He is on a roll. Um, and right now we are moving on to our next match, which is uh, one half of two teams here. We have Skyfrost, one half of the Mega Powers, going after going after Sotoru Yamashita. Uh, he's looking to get revenge for. Being the only team to beat them the way they did, uh, they if you if you if you call back like weeks ago, we had uh, the two teams square off the Mega Powers and the Yamashitas, and Yamashita got a countout victory, a uh, very dis distasteful victory, and they look to uh, really redeem themselves now that they're the champions and they 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 want payback. So now uh, because Half of the team is busy fighting later on tonight. Platana will face Dr. Disrespect in their heated rivalry going on. Skyfrost looks to decimate one half of the team that beat him before he had the titles. And he's making sure they don't come after the titles. That's all, that's all there is to it. So here we go. The bets are being written down right now. We got Skyfrost... Is option one. And Sotoru is option at number two. You can go ahead and place your bets right now. You guys have five minutes. We're moving this along. It's a go home show. We have a lot of action here. There's no more, there's really no more uh, build up. To any people saying anything they have to say. Everything's already said. And if you got anything more to say. You say it in the ring. And that's what's happening today. And we're already on to our. Our third match. And uh, I, I'll give you time to, to place your bets now. Which I know you're done already. But 
You gotta give me time now. After Skyfrost match. We have Marissa and Jaden Bell, who's been on a roll too, make, making her debut uh, last week. And now she looks to go against the, the probably the biggest female we have in our women's division. Mar Marissa, the Egyptian goddess, as self-proclaimed Egyp Egyptian goddess. Uh, so that will be following the Skyfrost and Yamashita match. Then we have... Then we have uh, Dr. Disrespect and Platano who will face off after that. And uh, many more to come. All right, we have three minutes left. That should be enough time to place your bets uh, for anyone else who is still around. But right now, we have our match set. We have our combatants ready. And here we go. Can't help but tap your foot to the entrance. Big, big, big dude in the ring. He's huge. Wow. The Super Saiyan himself is sprinting to the ring. Look at that. He's hyped up. Look how fast he got to the ring. He's ready. He's looking to have the ultra instinct for today. He is the ultra instinct warrior. We have a host from Moon Neptune. Thank you for the host. You got yourself 200 points just for hosting. It's uh, it's a special day because we technically this is this stream is celebrating 600 follows. So uh, we got we, we got to up the ante a little bit with the with the points. So thank you. You earned yourself some points. Thank you for the host and welcome to the show. And Skyfrost, the ascended Super Saiyan himself, self-proclaimed ascended Super Saiyan, uh, eats a backbreaker and looks to be in trouble and now eating the turnbuckle oh my god what is this this is some brutal whoa that's platinum's music oh skyfrost from behind taking out the leg oh my god is he setting up already Yes, a stunner! Yes, yes. Oh my god, he landed a stunner already! Going for the pin, is this it? One, two, oh, kick out at two! The distraction, that was Platano's music, Skyfrost's tag team partner. That was his theme song that hit to distract. So total, oh my god.
the distraction paid off and he landed the stunner, but it didn't finish the job. It did not finish the job. Now they're on the outside of the ring. Guy Frost fighting back. He's looking to get a count out victory for payback. Look at this, taking things to the ramp. We saw this before when they faced off as a team. This is this is some major payback if he pulls this off here. The ref, the ref is counting. I don't know what number he's on. I gotta listen. He's on eight. Oh, Skyfrost looking to break the count. He's looking to break the count. Referee has to start over. Oh my God! He gets tackled right into the side of the ring that oh my god that hurt my back looking at that I want to go see a chiropractor again oh punch to the gut and a big clothesline a, a quick clothesline excuse me hello but that was a quicker trip ref count is at seven already or is it at seven now I can barely hear everyone's so loud He's on eight. Look at that. Runs right next to him. He knew what he was doing. Wasn't falling for it again. Puts him up on the corner. Oh no, eats an elbow. Reversal from Skyfrost. Right in the baby. One kick out at one. Skyfrost has to do a lot more damage. Can't finish the job that easily. Skyfrost is up for the challenge though. Look at him. Oh my god, double axe handle. Right to the face. And look at that, he's down. Is Skyfrost going for the elbow drop? Yes, he is. Look at that. The height. The distance. Oh! Kicks his knee out. But still gets the offense. Oh my god. Drops him face first. And now setting up for another stunner. Yes! He got it! We got a replay here. He's going for the pin. One. Two. Oh, not yet. Not yet. Take a look at the replay here. That big elbow drop. And I'm going to use that word again because that was just picture perfect macho man Randy Savage. Oh, yeah. He was the cream of the crop and he went to the top and he came falling down with an elbow that met to Toto's chest. Woo. Now, we're going to put him on the, the top turnbuckle here. Ooh, it's an uppercut. RKO off the top. Yep, it is. He nails it. He nails it. Is Skyfrost done? Is the champ down for good? Let's find out. Oh my god. He might be down after that. One. Two. Oh, kick out at two. A clothesline. Misses a clothesline. Frost now eating a oh my god. Getting tossed right over Sotoro and now oh my god a spine buster is this it can't get any offense in the ascended saiyan might be uh, descended is this his final form or have we not even seen his final form yet he may need to up you know to to, to up his strength Maybe scream a little bit, power power up for a couple episodes, but I don't think we have enough time. Another one from the top. 
Man, I agree. He is going to need a sensu bean after that one, but I don't think we have any on deck. And it might be illegal. This, 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 there's disqualifications. Oh, he got him! DDT! Uh oh. Oh my god, he reversed the choke slam into a DDT. Payback. Oh no. The champ is in trouble. He is in trouble. Just when he thought he can come back. He was still a step behind. Oh my god. You know what this means. Third time's the charm. Oh no. Oh no, it's an arcade. Oh! Oh. He's not moving. He's not moving. Oh wait, I lied! Oh my god, a toss! He's still in this, he's smiling! Clothesline! Ducks under! Oh my god, How payback. His payback does exactly what was done to him. Gets the comeback. Oh, tackles the ref down. Ref needs to move out the way. He's looking to fly high. Elbow drop! Can he go for the pin in time when the referee is up? Oh, he's not done yet. Make your move for the 30 bits. How you doing? How you doing? Oh, Frost with the 65 bits. How you doing? And a, oh, he saw the stunner coming. He, he pushes him out the way. Oh, no. Oh, no. He lands it. One, two, three. That's it. The total. Yamashita pulls out the victory from I don't know where. Probably his big old poofy pants. But... Guy Frost couldn't keep him down. They were going back and forth. Back and forth. Wow. That was a great match. Even with the distraction, he was able to come out on top. This guy's huge, man. Guy Frost loses again to this man. You know what this means. They might be next in line to challenge for the title. We'll find out maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe. That was a great match though. You can't you can't deny that. That was I, I that that was pretty good. Pretty good. I think I think uh I think that was the best match so far. Um so since there's people here, uh after the show what I want to do is basically rate which match was the best of the night and if if it includes people who were in the match who are in chat, then they'll get bonus points for having a match of the night. Kind of like what the UFC does with their stuff. They give a bonus to people who have fight of the night and submission of the night, K of the night, so on and so forth. Just to, just to find a way to give people more points. Uh, how can they be stronger than the champs? Well, that was only one half. Okay, Maybe you just went against the stronger one. You, there, there might be a weaker one. You never know. You never know. But right now we got a women's match set up. We've got Jaden Bell or Marissa versus Jaden Bell. Then after that will be Blatano and Dr. Disrespect, the other half of the Mega Powers in WCA. We, we heard Blatano's music hit before for the distraction, but it didn't really help. Uh, or it didn't help as they wanted to. So what what's going to go on? I don't know.
There we go. Alright, let me get the bets set up. There you go, the bet is up. Who do you think will win the match? Option one will be Marissa. Option two will be Jaden Bell. You guys got five minutes to place your bets. Five minutes to place your bets. All right, and we got Marissa. 50 points on Marissa. 50-50-50. There we go. Roxy even checking how many points I got. Roxy with the bet on Marissa. 50 on Marissa. We got two 50s on Marissa. Uh, we got we got Jaden Bell voted by Kratos. 30 points. Look at that. Now we got some now we got some points to win, guys. There we go. Points are on the line. That's a total fund of 130 points. Marissa seems to be the favorite. Oh, wait a minute. Moon Neptune evens the score and bets on Jaden Bell. So now it's a 50-50. The current fund right now is 160. There are four entrants. En en entrance? Entrance? Yeah, that's the right word. Entrance. But not like entrance. Entrance with a T and an S. But all right. We got three minutes to, to uh, still place your vote for anyone who has not. And then... Uh, you can't anymore, but right now we gotta move on to the match. So I am so sorry. But here we go. self-proclaimed Egyptian goddess, the biggest woman in WCA, looking to take on the newcomer, our newest member to the WCA roster. I hear whistles in the, in the crowd. Frost, didn't you vote on her? Why'd you say boo you stink? <laughs> and here she is. Jaden Bell. He made a hell of an impact on her first match in WCA and she looks to continue to ride this momentum all the way to the top. You're looking like the daughter of the phenom with two different eye colors. No, that is you voted on Marissa, who is the Egyptian chick.
right. And here we go. These two women, huge women. Look at look at the size of these two. Let's see them. Let's see them when they go close. I think Marissa might even be bigger. I don't know. Here we go. Marissa starting with a oh my god, a Falcon's arrow straight from the start. Oh, and kicks her right in the face right when she turns around. Oh, disrespectful slap to the face, but Jaden Bell won't stand for that. Oh, pushes her off. Wow, I think Marissa is the bigger of the two. Jaden Bell might uh, have a task on her hands. Big task on her hands. Oh, my God. Right on the ribs. Going for a quick pin. One and kicked out immediately. Bets are off. You can no longer bet. And tosses her down to the ground again. Marissa using the size strength advantage here. Still pushing her to the ground. She can't get any offense and now going for the pin again. Kicking out immediately. From chops to the back of the head. Throws Marissa into the corner. What you got in store now? Oh! Eats a right hand. Eats an uppercut. Gets thrown into the corner and kicked. Oh! Eats the booty for breakfast. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, what is this? Marissa taking off the, the padding on the corner there. Looking to... Oh, no. What is this? Right on the back. Come on, ref. She, was, she did it right in front of you. You didn't even do anything. Marissa, even though she had, even though she, she has the offense here and she's been just dominating this whole match, she still requires to cheat for some unknown reason. The Lariat clothesline. Kicking out at one again. Now gets a headlock with her legs here. Jaden is up. Wait a minute. Oh, never mind. Now she's on Marissa's shoulders. I'm going to taste the ropes. They're not licorice, I promise. right to the face Jaden Bell actually fighting back look at that oh my god using the momentum to get Marissa down to the ground twice and now a cartwheel oh my god and a backflip Showing the great athleticism. And now it's time for her to show her strength. Look at how she picks up Marissa. Oh my god. Can she actually bring the fight and have a chance? Oh my god. Eats elbows right to the face. Those aren't tasty. Oh, and returns the favor. She seems to be getting angrier here. Oh, but it's going to eat another Falcon's arrow, is she? Oh, my. Oh, no. She drops out of it. Look at that. Ooh. Knee. Leg. Elbow. Kick. Oh, my God. The combinations. That was lovely. Mwah. Deadly strikes from Jaden Bell. She's a well-rounded talent here. She dominated her first victory, and now this is a challenge, and she is up for it. Fight forever. Chains are going in chat right now, and that's what they're doing. And we got a boo here also. Look at this. This crowd is 50-50. Un. De. Kick out at two. Oh, this is the RKO there. Oh, right hand. Oh, my God. Right on her knee, almost breaking her in half. Rolling out the way. I think she got hurt there. She needed to roll her safety. 
But Marissa is coming right after her. I believe she sensed something was wrong. Oh, and Jaden Bell runs inside quickly. Misdirection here, but no, it is not enough on her shoulders now. Jaden Bell is in trouble. Oh, my God. She knocked her out. Going for the pin. One, two. Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Elbows her way out. Oh, going for a high kick, but she caught it. Marissa. Oh, and a high kick of her own. Oh, my God. I think she put her to sleep. Nighty night, Jaden Bell. Oh, my God. Put her to sleep and walk her up. Back to back. Ah, uh, you know what that sound means. We gotta follow. Wraith Clown? Wave Clown? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the streams. We got a replay here nominated from Skyfrost. Caught the high kick and then delivered a spinning back kick that put Jaden to sleep. Then she woke her ass up by just launching her and just, uh, that was a, I, wow. I wouldn't want to be walking up that way, just saying. Fireman's carry reversal. Marissa still in control, brings her down. Uh-oh. And now with the submission, is she going to tap here? Is Jaden Bell finally going to give up her first time? Yes, she does. She taps. Marissa is known as the Egyptian goddess, the biggest woman in WCA, and she stays that way. She stays that way. But there's some, there's some respect going on from Jaden Bell. The great, the great sight to see from a young talent that way with so much potential. Gave her the respect as she should and now Marissa moves on. Is she coming after the belt as well? She might have a shot here. She might have a shot. You might have a shot. Let's be honest. You might. All right. Now. If you voted for Marissa accidentally or if you actually meant to, you were correct. Now, we move on. Platano. The other half of the Mega Powers in WCA goes against Dr. Disrespect. Following that match, we have Ivan and Alan Walker tag teaming. That's right. You heard me correctly. They're tag teaming. Two rivals here. Ivan is up for number one contender. He is going after the belt during the pay-per-view tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow. And they are now set to team up to work together. Enemies working together to go against a tag team. People who actually respect each other and work well together. They're looking to face Abbott and Aiden. Can they pull it off? Following that match. Following that match, we have our main event, which is to be announced. I want to leave it as a surprise. Uh... I want to leave it as a surprise to uh, a specific person in the chat. Um, if you want me to say it now, go ahead and tell me I can say it now. If not, I will leave it a surprise. It is a main event that hopefully will be worth the surprise. Okay? So for right now, we have three more matches. Two we know about and one we don't. So let me get on with getting the bets done for this one. Sorry if I'm speaking loud than I should be. I have music in my ear because the game was actually glitched and it's playing some song right now if you want to listen. Yeah, I don't know why I do that. But.
we got plátano as option one. Oh, not option Q, option one. Option two is Dr. Disrespect. Spect. Spect. <clears throat> so go ahead and place your bets on who you think is going to win. If you need to find out how many points you have, go ahead and type in exclamation point points. Just like Roxy did. Find out how many points you have. You get points for following. You get points for hosting. You get points for donating. You get points for t uh, for cheering with the bits. You get points for subbing. You get points for pretty much everything you do here, participating and all. Okay, it's all there. By the way, Stella is supposed to win 200 because she did win her match earlier today, so I will do that right now. Even though she's not here, it's okay. Uh. And if you stick around, there is more of a surprise that is point-related. I do this every time I stream, every time we stream. So there's always, you know, a surprise. I, I'm not going to say now because I don't want people to stick around just for that. You know, if you're here by close towards the end of this, then you, you know, you'll, you'll know why. But all right, the bets are up. The contest is still going. We have 3 minutes and 40 seconds, which I think is long enough to start the match right now, believe it or not, because this match will have a hell of an entrance from both these men. And here we go. Can I get a... Dr. Disrespect has made his way into the ring, the two-time back-to-back 1993-1994 video game champion. And now his opponent. The golden dreadlock dripping. Tag team champion stepping into the arena. One half of the mega powers. This is Latano, the tan Napa. Basking in his ambiance of bright colors. Breathes out the smoke like a dragon. Like a dragon ball Z. And here he is. They go one-on-one -on -one once more. 
a rivalry? Will it end? Will it only just begin? And here we go. The two times sprinting. Luthres press, throwing the punches, throwing them hands. Taking the fight right to Platon. Look at this. Going for a suplex with a nice bridge there. Bets are off. You can no longer bet on who do you think is going to win. Although Dr. Disrespect seems to take control of the match. This is one of those moments where we have to uh, disregard what we have just seen and just realize that this game is not perfect. 2K, you need to step up your game. Okay, literally step up your game. All right. If you can't handle it, just bring THQ back and let them do their games. Because seriously, this is just unacceptable. And I want you guys to forget what you have seen here. I am the Men in Black. I am flashing you right now. I'm flashing you in my titties. And you are to forget what has gone down here. And we are going to restart the match right now. All right, nothing happened. And here we go. The fight between the two monsters. Oh, my God. The right hand that dropped Dr. Disrespect down so quick. G wow. I've done with the snap mirror and now working on the neck to Dr. Disrespect. He's trying to take off his turtle beaches, actually. He's trying to take off his turtle beach. That's what it is. He's trying to rip his sponsors off of his face. That's what's going on right now. He throws him right back into the ring. Dr. Disrespect showing his strength. Going for the pin immediately. One. And one count is all he can get. Looking for a suplex. Oh, with the reversal. Oh, my God. That was an impressive move from Blatano. Going for the pin one. Not even a one count. Not even a one count. He's feeling it, though. Dr. Disrespect escapes. Irish whip. Oh my god, eating an elbow. What is this? What is this music? Wait a minute, we've seen this before. That was a distraction from Skyfrost. Lothano did the same thing for him in his match. A distraction. I don't know what the hell that music was. Honestly, I don't know what that music was. But it was enough to distract the two time. But it seemed to do little to nothing. Oh! God. Going right right on his neck. Crowd cheering for more. You got more. You got it. Setting up for the finisher. Is this gonna be it? 
Oh no, it's not. Dr. Disrespect saw it coming with his Google prototypes. Goes with built-in LCD, LED, 1080p, Sony technology. DDT. Now the leader of the Slick Daddy Club is just toying with his food right now. Takes him up on his shoulders, blocking on elbows his way out, almost breaking the Google prototype goes built in LCD LED 3D technology. Looking for a power bomb. Oh my oh my god, that's even worse. It broke his shoulder, his neck, something. Now here he goes, the jackhammer is being set up. And going right down. One, two, oh, kick out it to the dock. Fighting back now, working on the arm. Lopton on with the reversal. Bring Doc to the apron and now gonna suplex him right back in. Can he lift him up from there? Yes, he can. Oh my god. I think these two men got their steroids from the same place now. All the way from Guadalajara. Oh, you know what this means. You know what this means. The spear! Is Doc finished? Is this all she wrote? Ooh. Kick right to the back. Oh, he caught the kick. Oh, he shoves him off. Oh, the threat's press. Throwing them hands. Now Doc's sitting back. Taunting his opponent. Lopton on fighting back. Oh, throws him on the outside. Lopton is in trouble. Oh my God, a big right hand. I didn't even see him fall down. He was standing, and one second he was just already on the floor. There was no motion. That's the strength displayed by Lopton. Now here's the speed and the strength to be displayed. Boom! You guys felt that? Splitting him in half. He literally made him a two-time person. Two! Oh. Replay nominated by Roxy. Throw to the outside. Up, oh, Platano in the ring setting up for the jackhammer. Here we go, throwing him up. And slamming him down. Going for the pin. One. Two. Oh my god. This man doesn't know when to quit. He doesn't know when to quit, and for that, he's going to pay a third and probably final jackhammer. Platano is getting angry. That's it. Is this the last one? One, two, three. Yes, it is. He's laid out cold. The two time. This time has run out. His hair is glowing brighter. Just like his future is. This is only the beginning. The mega powers look to dominate the whole entire WCA.
tag team titles, singles titles, and even the women's titles. How? I don't know how. I'm not going to ask. You know, it's 2017. You do what you got to do, boo-boo. Uh, so, you know, however they plan to do that, I, you know what, just, hey, whatever. But all right, Platano wins his match. If you voted for Platano, you voted correctly. He gets his payback on Dr. Disrespect. Is it over? I don't know. Is it over? But based on the loss that Skyfrost did, Skyfrost uh, uh, had, I believe they have set opponents. Maybe. There may be another team out in line. I don't know. I, I can only assume what's going to happen. But right now, this is over. And we move on to Ivan and Alan Walker. Can they team up together, put their differences aside for only one match to face off against a tag team known as Abin and Abbott and Aiden? I can't speak today. I can never speak any day, right? But all right. Alan and Ivan will be option number one, and then Abbott and Aiden will be option number two. Place your bets starting right now. And here's a little joke for you guys that understand. Uh, Alan and Ivan. <laughs> that sounds like Alan Ivanson. Is it? Is it there? Uh, your basketball reference? Because I was playing basketball the other day. No? Okay. All right. Whatever. Anyway. Place your bets. Look at that. We already got a bet placed on Abbott and Aiden. Roxy doesn't believe that the champion and his current enemy right now can work together. Look at that. 50 points have been placed. All right. Okay. 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 Um, all right. You guys still have four minutes to place your bets. Uh, and I'm going to get the match started while you do so. So, here we go. America Pride and Canada Pride. Skyfrost ruining the uh, the main event here. I didn't announce it. I thought you wanted to keep it a surprise, damn it. In the ring, ready to set, ready to ready to fight the champion and the number one contender right now. Um, hello. I don't know what's going on. Everything's just not, you know, working properly. So excuse the music here. I didn't ruin it. You're the one who. Why would you say that now? You could have said it like at the beginning of the show or something. He can put two and two together. Okay. She's a smart woman.
Why is it not listening to me? And there he is, the champion that no one wanted as champion. Huh. Alan Walker. What's up, Irby Gaming? Welcome to the stream. Here we go, starting things off, we got Abbott versus Ivan. Ivan taking back control here. Oh! Ooh, hey. Oh! Some technical wrestling here. Sizing each other up. Oh! Ivan goes down. Oh! Getting his head tossed right into the mat. Eating a suplex. Oh my god. Abbott with the wrestling background, an all American, if you will. Pretty obvious. Uh oh. The rope thing that's always been done in every single match that this guy has had. Always using the ropes as a weapon. Good ring awareness. Way to use the environment. Oh, and he eats a stutter. <laughs> he pulled that out of nowhere. Wow. Okay. Now dragging Abbott to his side and tagging in the champ. Surprised they went for a tag so quickly. They're actually working together. Look at that neck breaker from the middle rope. Needs a right elbow or right forearm. Now, going for a tag team maneuver here. What are they doing? Oh no, oh dear, oh shit, look at this! A power bomb suplex, wow! That hurt his teammate as well! Allen is in trouble. Oh my god, right to the back of the head. No, I, he's not in trouble. He's fucked. Oh my god. Replay. Thank you. Replay nominated. Here we go. Uh, check this tag team maneuver out. Abin was hoisted up. And a power bomb suplex. I don't even know what to call that. Wow. That was amazing. Allen able to take control. Going for a moonsault. Springboard moonsault. It's a German suplex. God. Oh my. A spinning uppercut. Allen is getting a beat down. You gotta wonder, is is this what Ivan wants? If if Allen, if they don't win, Ivan still gets his number one contender shot at the title. But if Allen gets beat up nonstop, is he gonna be 100% for the match? Maybe this is what Ivan wants. Maybe that's why he tagged him so soon. 
Now, if that is what he wants, is that even, do you think it's messed up? It should not be allowed. Or, I don't know, it seems to be playing by the rules, but then again, it seems a little fucked up. I don't know. Oh, my God. for a drive-by here. And he connects. Run for the pin already. One, two, kick out at two. Not enough. Alex to go for the tag. There we go. Using the ropes. Payback. It's a hell of a thing. It's like he was going to give him a suplex of his own, but got reversed. Throws him into their corner. Now going for a tag team maneuver again. This time, what they're gonna do? Oh dear, oh my God. All right, love the tag team work. Now eating an elbow right to the face. Is this all they got? Jawbreaker from Ivan. Uh-oh, last ride, sit out, power bomb. That one came from deep within. Ooh, kick right to the spine. Just added damage after slamming him on like that. Oh, he was going for a stunner, but he pushed him away. Oh, shit. the back right to the back again and the third time's the charm oh that hurts me oh eats a bro kick one two oh kick out at two Check connects. And the replay nominated from Roxy. Here we go. Going for the power bomb lung blower here. Can he connect? No reversal. Going for the pin. Is this it? One, two, three. It's over. Abbott and Aiden. Ivan and the WCA champion. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Are they next in line for the tag titles or are the Yamashitas in line for the tag team titles? I don't know anymore, all right? I really don't know anymore. Well, you voted for Avin Aiden, you are 
correct and you get your uh, money back or probably and then some. There was 100 in the fund, so enjoy the points. Now, for the main event, for the main event, I have to explain in detail what's going to go on. Okay, first I'm going to write it down right here because it is Moon Neptune. Nep, Nep, Neptune. Versus the champion, Mama Rage. You heard that correctly. You heard that correctly. Moon Neptune is challenging for the title against Mama Rage. How is this possible? How does she climb the ranks? Well, there was a title shot that was redeemed with the points that is in chat those those points can actually be used to set up matches and somebody has set the match for moon neptune to challenge for the title right here right now and this is the main event because the women are always the main event and this is bound to be good this is bound to be good okay so <clears throat> i'll tell you what I'll tell you what. Actually, you know what? No. I had, I had a crazy idea. Let me not do it now. All right. Moon Neptune. Who will win? Who do you got? Bet option one for Moon Neptune. Bet option two for Mama Rage. There you go. There, 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 there you go. <clears throat> now, we are ready to start the match. Uh, and I will start the match right now. But before I do, all of you who are here now, if you stuck around this long, if you made it this far, you are going to get some extra points to, given to you right now, every single one of you, just for being here this long. Whether you just tuned in now and you got lucky, you know, or if you've been here the whole time and you're still here, you get points. I believe it is give all. Is it give points? Or no, it's add points. It's add points. I'll tell you what. Again, because everything is up because I hit 600, right? Because I hit 600, everything is up today. So, normally I give like 100 or 200, you know, just for being here. Thank you so much, blah, blah, blah. I'm giving you all right now because, you know, I hit 600 followers and, and it's it's a big deal for me. 600 points. Because 600 followers. It's a big, 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 big thing. And I know I haven't really done a lot of shows. So, it's not too much of a thing for me um but yeah 600 points given to all of you uh add points all 600 there we go 14 of you 14 users have successfully gotten 600 points all right i want the match you guys still have about uh three minutes left to vote on who do you think is gonna win um it is time for the main event, the championship match, this is going to be good. Oh, did I forget? This match is scheduled for one fall and is for the women's championship title. And it will take place inside a hell in a cell and be two out of three pins to win.
Moon Neptune is in the ring. She's ready to go. He's hyped up. So am I. I don't sound like that way because my voice is just a little, you know. The, oh, here we, the champ's coming. is back to normal because this is too big to not speak to you. Booty can. All right, here we go. This is what it's all for right here. The Women's Championship. The Women's WCA Championship. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Introducing first, fighting from I don't know where, excuse me, but you can follow her at twitch.tv slash moon neptune she's in chat so do so right now i'll even give you guys a link she is the contender today in this match and the champion from florida don't know where florida she is the women's champion she is also a streamer you can follow her at twitch.tv slash mama underscore rage That was a nice pose. Oh my god, that was a nice pose. I really should I should have taken a picture. Oh, hold on, wait, wait, wait. wait. Boom. I should have taken a picture of that. That was actually pretty cool. Alright, here we go. Two out of three pinfalls, Mama Rage runs to the outside. Why? Is she scared? No. She's getting a steel chair. Oh, and swinging for a miss. And Moon able to disarm her. And a backdrop delivered to the champ. Moon saw it coming. And she was too quick for the champ. Oh, she didn't see that coming though. Hurricane! Oh, she lands her, her her booty. It lands on the chair. That's gotta hurt. Uppercut. Wow, fighting through the pain. Oh, going for a neck breaker there, but reversal. Oh my God, dropping her around the chair again. She's looking to damage her. Oh, drop kick right to the face. Mama Rage seems to be a little uh, a little a little grumpy here. I don't think she liked the fact that this person has climbed up the ranks and is facing her, but hey, we play within the rules and we got booze. I don't know who that's towards. Maybe it's towards both of them. I don't know, but this match is kicking off. And speaking of kicking. I thought one of them was in the kick when I said that, but I, I guess not. Top rope maneuver. What is going to go on here? Is it? Yes, it's a superplex. You heard me right. A superplex and boom. Moon is down and hurting. I'm rage says, bring it on, girl. I'm sorry. Bring it on, girl. There we go. Oh, my God. Springboard. DDT, springboard flying DDT. I don't know what to call that. That was, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Moon slowly getting up. He's on the apron. His mama is going to attack. Yes, yeah, she did. Oh my God. She hit her so hard she flew and hit the cage and she's still standing. He doesn't go down easily. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that. Moon dropped it right on her face on the outside, throwing her back in. It's gonna go for the pin. Oh my god. Oh, east the corner. Oh my god, crucifix. Didn't go for the pin. Throwing her to the corner now. Eats the pad in the corner. Eats it again. Moon with a knee. Nightmare. Brings the champ down and working on the neck. God, I don't think you're supposed to bend that way. Moon with a submission maneuver. Oh, Mama Rage escapes. She doesn't tap out though. Haunting Moon right in front of her face, but Moon throwing her into the ropes. Oh my, oh my, almost broke her neck. Yeah. Forearm. Moon and Bulldog. Added measure there. Mama Rage is on the apron, slowly getting back up. This payback coming her way. Oh! No, it's not. Mama Rage turning to throwing her to the corner. Oh shit. Moon keeps bouncing off the corner. I don't know if that's a glitch or not, but oh, submission maneuver. Oh, she elbows her way out. Smart move by Moon. Uh, I was going to say, Moon keeps... Every time Moon gets thrown to the corner, she bounces off like like if she got hit by something. I'm pretty sure that's a glitch. Uh, so we'll see how this plays out. Because Mama Rage is... Uh, oh. Yeah. Yep. It is definitely 100% a glitch. That's fair. Because no, none of them can get on, on the ropes. And Mama Ray just moves consist of the, the top rope. Mama Ray just moves need to be on the corner. So I, I don't think that's uh, I don't think that's fair. Uh, I'm going to restart the match. You know, it's not like one of them was going to win or not. It's two out of three falls, so and no one got the first fall, uh, pinfall yet. So, you know what I mean? It, it's only fair that I, I restart right now to see if, if the, the glitch fixes itself. If not, they still have two. Uh, they still have two pinfalls to get. So I'm actually going to restart the match right now. Uh, hey, 2K is perfect, right? 2K is perfect. It's totally perfect. I'm going to restart the match here. Sorry about that. It's just not fair because one, you know, one of them needs the corner, needs the ropes, you know. Moon, too, she has moves that are on the corner. So, it's like, you know, they, they kind of need that to do their finishers and whatnot. But, all right, here we go. Hurricanrana right away. Drop kick right to the face. And knee right to the face. It's just targeting the face. Listen, Lily. Wow. Oh, working the arm already. Oh my god. Ivan's carry reversal. Moon gets thrown to the apron. Oh my god! Tackled and hits the 
hits the gate on the outside, but still standing and ready to fight back. Can't stop this girl. Really doing damage to the head and neck area to each other. I don't know. I can't tell if it's uh, any dislike or is it just fighting for the title and, and what, what stakes that are, that are on the line on this match. We can stake. I'm kind of hungry. Kick right to the chesticles. You know, females and whatnot. Ow. Kick right to the chesticles. Payback. Elbow right to the jaw. A snap suplex. From Moon. All by her Karana from Moon. Is Moon looking to fly? Middle rope. Here we go. Here we go. Kicks her away, gets some distance, and a Kinshasa right to the face. Beautiful setup. Oh, but Mama Rage fighting back immediately. Crucifix not going for the pin combination. Moon trying to crawl her way to the corner here. Oh, eats a leg. Mama Rage just won't stop. for the handspring close oh she moves out the way moon gets into the corner now eating the knee oh my god oh my god and now with an arm bar moon looking to get the first point oh mama rage gets out Ooh. Punch right to the face. But Moon escaping. Uh-oh. Top rope maneuver. This is it. This is it. Oh, my God. Red arrow. A submission. Can she make the champ tap out and get the first point? No, she can't. Throwing Mama Rage into the corner. And again. Oh, monkey flip. Beautiful sequence. Oh, springboard moonsault from a distance. Defying gravity. And Mama Rage reversal. It's Moon Neptune to slowly get up on the apron. She's looking for that tackle again. Will she slam her into the gate? Oh, looking for a punch, but she missed. Oh, shit! <laughs> a springboard of her Karana, and she lands on her feet. But Mama Rage still fighting back. Oh, both went to elbow each other, but Mama Rage's elbow connected first and dropped her. And now eating a nice walls of Jericho here. Or double leg Boston Crab. Here we go. Oh, she fights out of it. A women showing why they're the best right here. Oh, stomped on her. A going for the arm bar once again. Guys, don't forget to hit those replays. We need replays of this match. We need replays of this match so we can tweet out. Mama Rage escapes the arm bar yet again. How? I don't know. She caught the leg though. Moon Neptune. Enjoying, enjoying this attention right now. She's riding the wave. Going up top again. Red arrow again, here we go. Here we go. Now going for the submission. She, she wants to get the women's champ to tap out. This is crazy. Can she get it? Will Mama Rage tap? No, she won't. 
Oh my God. Oh, Mama Rage eating a bunch of elbows and a hurricanrana to follow that. Mama Rage has never been a drop kick right to the face. Mama Rage has never been this in trouble, in trouble in a match. He is getting the beatdown of a lifetime. This is a, we've never seen her in this position. Oh, she caught the leg. Can she come back from it? Drops her right on her face. Moon. Is she looking to finish things? Mama Rage not ready to give it up yet. Nobody has scored a point yet. Fight forever chance spewing throughout the crowd. Putting on a show for all of us here. And again, third time's a charm. It may have been the fourth time. I lost count, but she is just stomping her. Literally. Now a bulldog. Oh my god, her face. Mama Rage's face. Moon looking for the red arrow once more. Can she connect? No, she doesn't. She doesn't connect. Oh, my God. Is she in trouble? I was a suplex. Not following through with the pin, but Mama Rage is going for a high-risk maneuver herself. Are we going to see the eclipse right now? Didn't connect the handspring clothesline, but she's gonna skip that. Oh, she blocked the eclipse. She caught her and gave her a clothesline. Moon fighting back. Oh, whoa. it's getting good. Mama Rage is out. He's trying to crawl away from Moon. Moon set up. We got a replay here, nominated from Kratos. Oh, she went to tackle, but she missed. Oh my God! Moon is crazy! Who made Moon this OP? What steroid is she taking? She took Alpha Brain, didn't she? From Onyx. I wish we had this sponsor. Look at that. Caught her in midair, landing another red arrow, guys. Are we gonna see the first point right now? Is she gonna make the champ tap? Look at this. Oh, is she gonna tap? Uh, he's not giving up. She's not giving up. Oh my God. Oh my. You got to give it to Mama Rage though. She is not giving up. She's shown to dominate in her matches, but now she's showing that she has heart. Moon, we're just seeing a whole, whole different side of Moon. Oh no, oh no. Now Moon in the submission, can she get out? Will she tap? Oh no, and she gets out. Oh, eating a big forearm. You guys felt that, right? That, that forearm shook the world. Oh! Look at this! Is she gonna tap now? She's got the legs trapped. She's bending her neck forward. She's not supposed to bend that way. Will she tap? Oh, the strength! How the hell does Mama Rage do it? Oh my god. Submission after submission. Look at this. Back and forth. Will she tap? 
Un Moon give up. Banana! I should wish Japanese right now calling this match. Mama Reju! I didn't sweep in the corner, Tamaku! Ah! Handspring clothesline! Ah! <coughs> oh, boys. oh shit! The eclipse is being set up! Here we go! She tells her to get up! She says, get your ass up! I'm gonna end this right now! Eclipse! Can she go for the pin? Oh, she's going for submission maneuver. What is this? A, a tap out? First one to tap? What is this? What the hell's going on? Where? I just realized they're not going for pinfalls. Why are they not going for pinfalls? You guys gotta go for the pinfalls. Another submission maneuver. Can't she get out? These two just won't give up. Oh my god, I like your chair drop. All of a sudden, chills down your spine once you land. Oh, kick right to the stomach. I suggest you don't have Chipotle before a match. Oh my god! Kick right to the thigh. Punch right to the stomach. Anyone else notice that they're not going for pinfalls? Is that just me? They're not going for pinfalls. Why are they not going for Woo! It's a German suplex. Moon is in trouble. He's almost being laid out cold there. Uh oh, we're gonna see the handspring clothesline being set up right now. Here she she's in a bad spot. She's in a bad spot. Here we go. Handspring clothesline. Duck with me. This is it. Third or fourth time is a charm, right? Moon being set up again. No. Can't you get out the way? No, she can't! But Moon's still fighting back! How the fuck? Why are they aren't going for pins? We're not going for pins. I don't know what's going on. It might be another glitch. I don't know. Connects. No, she's not going for a pin. Why, why aren't they going for pins? Hold on, guys. We're in trouble. We are in trouble. It is submission only. Fuck! It's submission only, damn it. Why is it submission only? Why? You suck. You suck. You suck. You suck. I didn't fuck it up, so don't you dare blame me or stop this shit.
You really want to think this game is perfect. They just keep fighting until they kill each other, damn it. Hell, maybe we'll see them go to the outside of the Hell in a Cell and maybe fall from the fucking sky. I don't know. What is she doing from there and why is she doing that? Oh, no. Oh, my God. She made it that far. Breaker. We're going to see a submission attempt. <laughs> Elbow drop as she's trying to get up. Now both women are down. Who has enough strength to submit the other person? I don't know. It all depends on, you know, where they're trying to, like, what what submission maneuver they're trying to do to what body part that they damage. I don't know, but so far, the back and the neck have been the focus for both women. And there's the face. And here's the red arrow once again. Connects, and now here's the submission maneuver. Is the champ dead? Is she dead? He's not giving up. Wow. Oh, shit. There's a pinfall right there. Is just giving it to the champ. Back and forth they go. Suddenly the chant is becoming real. Yeah, they might actually fight forever. I don't know if, if no one submits, we may have to uh, we may have to uh, call it a draw. We may have to call it a draw. There's an eclipse from Mama Rage, and now can she submit Moon? No, it's still gonna go on. No, seriously, if if it if no one taps, okay, that means the game is glitched to all hell, and no one can tap. That's the thing. Like they're they're both so low on health right now. There's no way that they can like not tap to the shit that they're doing to each other. So because of that. In, in the way this game, I mean, you saw how glitched it was the first round. They couldn't even go on top of the turnbuckle. They kept bumping into it like if it was just a wall. Um, you know, same thing might happen here with, with the with the rules options. You know, because it has a submission only thing plus the two out of three. Front, maybe it's there's a glitch in itself with the uh, match options to where they can't actually tap out.
The match has been incredible, though. It sucks. It sucks. Not the match. The match has been sucked. It sucks that, like, you know, it may have to end in a draw. And, and, and Mama Rage will retain the title, but it doesn't mean that Moon won't get her a chance again. I'll, 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 I'll include her into the, uh, the match tomorrow. We'll make, we'll make it a, we'll, we'll, we'll make it a thing. Probably too because this is custom. I had to do a custom match options here and save it just to get uh, this option available for the match. So it, it, it could very well could be. Yeah. I will not have my client disadvantage. She will get a 1v1 with the champ. Okay. okay. The mission move right here. The legs. I don't know if you saw that there, but she she just let her go. She didn't fight out. She just let her go. It's definitely glitched, guys. It's definitely glitched. That was either supposed to be a tap out, but it didn't go through. Or it's just... A, a, I don't know. It, it's definitely a glitch, though. She doesn't just get off. Oh, look, look, look. Look at another thing. Look at Mama Rage's health. He's dead. She's dead. So, it was a great fight, but I'm gonna have to call it in a, a, a as a draw. Like we, we're gonna have to break these two up. They're they're literally fighting forever. This is this is something that's never been seen before in WCA. All right, but I gotta I got you know as as creator and 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 everything else to the damn show. I gotta call Notable here, and I'm gonna call it a draw. And I'm gonna make an announcement right now. <coughs> <coughs> Is this thing on? Okay. Right. Due to the technical difficulties we are having with 2K, uh, playing 2K, you can tag them at, uh, on Twitter, at 2K Games. Um, the game is not polished. Therefore, glitches happen. And in this case, the women's championship match is glitched. And Moon, Neptune, and Mama Rage, the match between those two will result in a draw it will result in a draw okay i'm i'm sorry i'm sorry but that's just how it has to be it has to i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm i'm i apologize seriously i do uh but but just promise hey no 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 just i promise you that I have a solution. Oh, you, yeah, you shut the fuck up, all right? I have a, I have a solution, all right? I have a solution. Tomorrow, Mama Rage will defend her title against Stella as promised. Was it Stella? Oh, you stink! Listen, hey, hey, all right? Mama Rage will defend her title. Actually, wait. Stella didn't have the title. It was, have the number one option. Hmm. You know what? Okay, how about this? Moon Neptune and Mama Rage will go one-on-one -on -one tomorrow for the Women's Championship match in a normal one-on-one, -on -one, one pinfall match. Okay. No if and buts about it. If you want to add a stipulation to it, I'll even do a normal Hell in the Cell match. I won't do a custom match 
it'll be a normal match 1v1. They go against each other. Dragonova and Mama Rage will settle their rivalry once and for all. Once and for all. They will face each other in a one-on-one as well. And they will settle their shit once and for all. The winner of, of Dragonova and Stella will face the champion the next day. Whoever the champion may be. Okay? If it's if it's Mama Rage, if it's Moon. But either way, there's going to be back-to-back title defense tomorrow and the next day. Okay? So that is going to be the next match for the women's title. All right? It, it's set, set in stone. And now since Skyfrost wants to, you know, be the voice of reason here, then uh, I'm going to give you a voice to reason on and think about when you're at home and when you sleep at night. You! And your tag team partner, Platano, are going to have to face the Yamashitas once again for the titles. This time for the titles. And if you lose to them, I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear nothing. So you better win. Or you're going to lose. Whether it be count out or not. Win or lose. The title is going to be on the line. And there's nothing you can do to get out of it. Nothing. Then Alan Walker and Ivan will go for the title. Will fight for the title. In tomorrow's show too. You You shut up! Okay? Listen. It's just how things gotta work, alright? There's no reason crying about it, alright? No, don't cry. I said don't cry. I said don't cry. You shut up, alright? No crying. That's what's gonna happen. Alright, so... Thank you for watching. I'm sorry for the fuck-ups. Blame2k, you can tag them on Twitter. At 2 k Games. Um, their game has been sucking. Their game has been slobbing on some knobs, if you know what I mean. So, thank you for tuning in, whether you're tuning in from YouTube, Twitch, live, which, if you're not watching live, you should really follow me on Twitter, at IR528, and find out when I go live. So that way you can be here live and participate and make some sound effects and make some crowd noises in the chat and gain some points and gain opportunities for your favorite wrestler and even try to get a wrestler of your own. How you doing? Thank you for the 10 bits. Moon. Neptune. Boom. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, I will, as as a part of the bets, I will refund everyone their, 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 their stuff so no one loses anything from that. I gave you guys 600 if you were here, so if you're not here, why aren't you here? All right? Tune in next time, December 17th. Hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, tune in December 17th for the quote-unquote pay-per-view, the big event that will happen for WCA. We'll, we'll, we'll do it better than today. That's for damn sure. This is a go-home show because the show is going to be bigger tomorrow, and we'll make it feel big, all right? So that is my final announcement. You're going to sleep on that, and you're going to enjoy it. Come back, and we'll have a great show. Love, peace, and chicken grease. Thank you for watching.